Nice to see you. Yeah. Good to be here. 31 this week, I just turned, which is a, an awkward stage for me. Not a boy anymore. Not really a man yet. I'm at that in-between period now where my hair is starting to fall out, but I'm still maintaining my youthful acne. So, <laughs> physically, it's all really coming together for me right now. Soon I'll be strolling around in a pair of Depends, popping zits on my bald head. <laughs> my girlfriend's 31. It's very different falling in love at this age. It's not like being 18 again. You fall in love when you're 18, it's spontaneous and emotional. You just, very 15 seconds into the relationship, you're just like, I love you. <laughs> Is that your roommate? She's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's different. You've been in love before. Nothing's new. You know, nothing's fresh. It took us a week just to come up with little pet names for each other that we had already used on somebody else in a previous relationship. By the end of the week, I'm Norman. And she's dude. The hair's starting to fall out, which is rough for me. I, you know, I wish I was a black guy. Any black guy loses your hair, shave your head. They always look handsome. Ever see a white guy shave his head? Everybody's like... <laughs> Leukemia? <laughs> Black guy's getting lucky, the white guy's getting chemotherapy. <laughs> I just want to be anything but Irish. Irish is, it's a curse, you know? I was, so I was Jewish. Jewish people have... Tr any Jewish people here tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Jewish people have such great traditions that the Irish don't have. If you're Jewish and somebody dies, you sit shiva and drink wine. If you're Irish and somebody dies, you just sit, wine, and drink shivas. <laughs> Very similar though, the Irish and the Jewish, a lot in common. Nobody complains more than the Jewish and the Irish. And Jewish people can, you've had a horrible history. Irish? Well, we're still pissed off because some vegetables went bad a century ago. <laughs> Spielberg should be making a movie about us. Finnegan's List. <laughs> the potatoes went bad, the beets went bad. Give me a beer. <laughs> My grandfather's from Ireland. His name is Florence McCarthy. He moved to New York in 1920. They used to beat him up because his name was Florence. He had to switch his name to Frank. This Christmas, he made a big announcement. He goes, I'm switching my name back to Florence. And we beat him up. Because it's a dumb name, and he's old and weak, and it was easy. I called my grandmother yesterday. She picks up the phone. Oh, hello, dear. Hold on a second. I just stepped out of the shower. Let me go put some clothes on. I said, hey, Grandma, don't ever tell me you're naked again. Go put a lot of clothes on. Then put some more clothes on. I'm going to sit here and drink and try to forget you naked in my head. <laughs> I'll never eat raisins again. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to see her naked. She trembles and shakes. It's very sad. We took her to doctors and specialists. We didn't know what was wrong. Turns out, we forgot to pay her heat. <laughs> she was cold. It was cold. She's all right. They just moved down to Florida. Kissimmee, Florida? Have you ever turned? Kissimmee? Nice town. I go down with my brother. He goes, no, it's pronounced Kissimmee. I said, no, it's Kissimmee. He goes, no, it's Kissimmee. Finally, I pull into a fast food restaurant. I roll down the window at the drive-thru. I said, will you please tell my brother very slowly where we are? Guy goes, Burger King. <laughs> Pretty glad to get out of there, get back to New York. I live in New York, you can lose your mind if you live in New York City. You gotta have some activity to keep your sanity. Something, or for me, one night a week, and I do it on Mondays, I slip into the darkness and I take one human life. <laughs> Tuesdays, it feels a little bit less crowded. Just cool. <laughs> I have a godson in New York, Connor. He's six months old, beautiful kid. Uh, I don't normally talk about him, but we're at the festival, and I'm trying to get Everybody Loves Greg made. Um, he's six months old. Nobody warned me when I babysat that when you change the diaper on a baby boy, 
Good idea to have on snorkel gear at this point, if you have it. I peel the diaper back, little wind hits him, he starts spraying down the room. Like one of those hoses you hook up in the summer, just flops around. <laughs> then it rests on his stomach, he starts spraying himself in the face. I freak out, I'm like, I think he's gonna die. I'm trying to wipe his face. I'm trying to stop him from peeing. He just starts laughing. All I can think is, we're getting socialized in the wrong direction here. When you're born, you're so natural, you just react. Little wind hits you, you pee, sprays you in the face, you giggle. That night I went home, I laid under the ceiling fan, and I peed all over myself. And I giggled like a baby. My mom was very angry. I didn't know it was bridge club night. Sorry, ladies. You get you some dry cards. Living in New York is strange because uh, I've worked with a tremendous amount of freaks. No matter where you work, I worked at a gas station. The guy I worked with was a strange man, former porno movie star from the 70s. He'd get confused every time he'd fill the tank. Halfway through, he'd pull it out and spray it all over the car. You guys have been great. Thank you very much.